All right, so we're gonna do the drunken landlady here. And so with this tune, it starts off with the B to the E roll. See that? Nice setup there, very common. It's a great tune to practice that setup. So we got B to the E roll. And then we got B, A, F, A. And then we do that all again. Okay, so I'm gonna put that together and I do that move twice. cuts too if you want. Or just long notes, but that's how you uh, how you usually play that opening phrase. So now then the next phrase is going to be just a little bit of a scale. Well, it's more like an arpeggio I guess in the key of D. Again, slow. A B A F long D F D F A long. And I do a cut on that A. And then we keep going. More of this. we go. Down we go from F. C, D. B, A. F, E. So that last, the ending. And that's how that first part is put together. See that B to the E roll is the main thing. second part's very simple. It's a lot of E. See that? Let's try that again. So we got the B to the E. Long one. Long F. Okay, one more time with that. We got the middle phrase from the first part. And then we got this again. And then the A part ending. See that? Like many tunes, most repeated phrase of the tune is the ending common to both parts. So that's very simple. That's the B part is half half made of the A part. We just got this lick to learn. That's it. And then, uh, so let's try that whole B part now. So we got the B to the E. Drunken landlady, let's try the whole thing. <laughs> 